Hi guys and welcome to a new video. For today I'm going to show you the process uh, of my cat pins that I designed on my iPad Pro. You can see them here. Uh, for making the, the pins I'm using air dry uh, clay so that means that I'm not going to use an oven to dry the clay so I'm, it is going to be like in a surface and drying by herself uh, during 24 hours or 48 hours depending on the thickness uh, of your works so in my case um, the pins they, they aren't uh, so thick so it took up about 24 hours to get totally dry so so it is uh, quite fast to be honest um, so for making like the pins, I use this uh, template that I draw from the design that I wanted to do. Uh, I think using a template is uh, the, w the best option for doing uh, like shapes. And I'm using some tools I bought on, on Amazon because I didn't have any to work with the clay. So this was very cheaper ones, so, but th they did the work. <laughs> So for working with the clay, um, I see that people add a little bit of water to get the shapes more neat. So I was doing that and also I bought some safety pins uh, that I attach uh, to the background of the clay pin with some more clay. I think uh, this solution is uh, uh, very resistant. And you can see the final product here. On next day, I start doing the, the sandpaper thing. Um, my sandpaper is so soft, so I think I'm going to both a more heavy or more dusty one because I couldn't erase or fix some of the problems I had with the shape. And I can still see these uh, issues once I ha I painted them. So this is a thing that I need to fix in the future. And you might wonder why I am doing clay pins. And well, the thing is uh, that I'm I want to sell them on my on, on my online shop. So these were like test run pins to see if the safe pin uh get attached or if i or to see if i need to to buy new products or different products or you know guys um just testing to see if i could do the work well and for the air dry clay um i saw that people use this white coat that is a gesso product um, and this is uh, for getting the paint uh, attached to the surface. Uh, I am using um, acrylics uh, for the painting, uh, for painting these clay pins. And after doing the painting, I use some UV uh, varnish to get the paint with more vivid colors. And also add some resistance to the pins in case they fall.
After doing the painting process, I came up with the idea of working with Posca pens instead of drawing these tiny details with this um, super thin uh, brush. Uh, mainly because I was seeing that um, I'm not very good at working with brushes, uh, mostly because I am digital artist the most of the time, so I think the Posca pens could help me um, to do like a better product for the shop uh, st stock. Well, here I am finishing the last touches with these um, pins. They are looking cuter uh, in the screen, but in real life, they are even much more cuter. And I want to thank you to my Patreons because they let me the opportunity to buy these products uh, for making the pins. And also, it was so nice sharing uh, all this process with them, uh, with the lenses uh, stories and in a large video that I where I explain all the process in details and all of my thoughts about the products I bought and, and also some of the problems I had during the production of these four pins. So if you want to check that, you can go to my Patreon page. And also thank you so much guys for your support here on the on the YouTube channel and see you on the next video.